Oh my world, welcome back to moving vlog number two. Hmm. You guys already know. Mm. Sorry, I just had to enjoy that for one second. Oh, my bigness. Third trimester caving is ice lemonade. I'm obsessed, you guys. If you watched the last vlog, you already know. I just cannot get enough. I don't know what it is. little crack okay well what's up you guys welcome back um we are in the townhouse and we're so excited um i'm just literally getting ready for the day about to put on some makeup i just did like a tan i put on some um press on nails actually because my nails were literally so ratchet i was like oh my god i can't even like i just felt so disgusting after moving like my skin was so dry and beat up like my nails were literally so bad and i'm like i just need like a little refresh like a little tan a little like something on my nails just to feel semi-normal before i can get to the salon i really need to go to the salon and like get my nails done my brows done a pedicure i'm getting my hair done next week Next week's glow up week though, I'm like, I can't do that right now because I have to keep going, but I can just get <clears throat> a little bit of something in. So that's what I've done. Anyways, we're in the townhouse and it took us literally a full week to move. Um, and I think that, well, it wasn't that we were expecting it to be any faster than that, but um, we were like, ooh, we're done, like we're so excited. And we got everything out of the cabin, but now that everything's out of the cabin, it's all here. So we still have to get this place, like not necessarily unpacked because we didn't bring everything over in boxes, but we have to unpack like our closets, organize all of the drawers, like get everything put away. So there technically is like a part two to this. And we were like, Hunter and I were like, woohoo, we're done moving. And it's like, you're not really done moving when you think you're done moving because then the unpacking starts and that's like a whole another week. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm so happy that that part is over and now we can get into nesting and settling into this place because you guys know we got baby havens coming in literally six weeks. Yeah, like he is getting big. The bump is big um, and I'm in this big black shirt because I just hand as I mentioned. So anyways, um, that's sort of the update. Hunter is downstairs working. We're catching up on work because we literally did not log on to emails for like almost a whole week because we were moving. So we're just trying to like get it together. This is like a little catch up day and then we are gonna start getting into this place. But you can see it's like just literally a wreck, stuff everywhere. We don't have any like towel hooks um, anywhere. So we've been like, draping our towels. We don't have any bedding on our bed. Um, it's just like really plain. No hamper for our dirty clothes. I don't know, we don't have a hamper. I don't know why. Um, we don't have a dresser because we put our dresser in the baby's room because it's gonna go in the nursery. It didn't actually fit here. So we have to get a tall one. I bought all of my shoes and trash bags closet's not unpacked still haven't unpacked my turks and keiko suitcase um hunter's actually pretty settled in his closet he like put all of his stuff away which is pretty nice um but we don't have nightstands yet so we gotta get that boxes trash it's just the whole thing so anyways we are gonna get unpacked in this vlog and downstairs looks even worse you guys it's like a bomb went off um anyways i'm gonna finish getting ready and then um i'll be back finally finished getting ready i'm downstairs hunter's working he's in the zone and booker's hanging out on the chair but this is what i was telling you guys about upstairs just the absolute tornado that needs to be unpacked we've got Tons of boxes over here, books, 
crap. Um, the kitchen we actually semi got taken care of, so it actually looks pretty clean. We've got all this stuff here. I mean, it's just kind of a wreck, so um, we're pausing, but we're gonna be getting to all this this weekend, trying to find homes for all this stuff and try to get it sorted out feeling like a little bit like a home um but i have a vici code to share with you guys i shared it on instagram as well but wanted to let you guys know here in case you're just only following on youtube um i showed some of their stuff in a couple vlogs ago i bought a ton of their stuff for vacation and i have loved their clothes while i've been pregnant i don't know what it is but they have a lot of bump friendly styles and just like simple things. The price point's really good um, and really, really cute for vacation, spring and summer. So I got an order and they gave me a discount code for you guys. So I wanted to show you what I got. First little two pieces are these really cute shorts, just like a lounge short. Obviously I'm wearing everything very comfortable these days because can't really fit much. So it pretty much has to be stretchy or it's not working. Um, and I went up to size large in these. I really love them because like the length is perfect. They're not too short. You don't want sh shorts that are too hoochie. You know what I mean? This is just the perfect length, especially with a bump. I'm really impressed. This um, basic is so comfortable. It feels like, I don't even know what to describe it as, but it is so stretchy, ribbed, one shoulder, I mean, perfect little basic to have in your closet um, and for summer. And it's like that really nice nude color. So I also have these little flats on. They kind of look like a Bottega pair actually, but they're super affordable, really cute. And I'm just literally an all nude, all beige. And I match my house, cause can you tell that this is my favorite color? It's really bad, but they're really cute. Pretty much freaking out for this one. I love this, probably my favorite piece. Um, it's a crochet like hoodie and I love a hoodie. I'm just very comfy gal and in a crochet Send me to the moon because I just love anything knit. I feel like very myself when I'm in anything knit It's really weird, but I love this. I went up to a size Large, I think it's sort of like already an oversized fit, but I love how with the bump it just covers perfectly um, and I just threw it over the shorts. It's just like a really cute, like running at the door for coffee. Um, like in the summer, it wouldn't be too hot because it has the crochet like breathability. It'd also be really cute over like a swimsuit on vacation, like think beachy nights when it's kind of windy, but you want to be warm or like sunset at the beach. So cute. This is my first beachy swim. And you guys, this is like the best 100G dupe that I've seen. It is so good. I wish I had this for my baby moon. I'm so mad, but it's a one piece in black. It looks so good. Kind of high on the side, but perfect yeah. coverage in the back. And then this cute little sarong I just threw over it. Um, kind of on top of the bum, but it's be really cute if you're a bride too. You can also wear it below yeah. the bum. That's cute. But this is an A+. Plus. Um, I want to get this in like literally every color, but it's that same crinkle material. Can't really see it I'm trying to show, but it's that same material as the other ones, and it's so good. I think I got this in a large. I'll have all my sizes down below, but um, with my discount code and everything, but this is a smash. If you watched the Beachy Haul I did a couple weeks ago, they make the best dresses if you're pregnant. I don't know what it is, but they're just really good at dresses in general. Um, and so I feel like they have a lot of styles that work for the bump. Um, they're, they don't even like do maternity, but it just works. I don't know. This dress is so flipping cute. It's the perfect little yellow. I love the style and I am so picky with dresses because I'm not like an overly girly girl. So I feel very girly in dresses and like sometimes uncomfortable, but <laughs> this one I feel really myself in. Um, I love the material. And again, it has this little like cut out on the side, which is perfect if you have a bump because um, it just like gives a little bit. I don't know what it is, like cinches in here. Look at the back, such a cute little back tie and oh, i just think it's precious next is so cute if you want to do a little bump out moment um maxi skirts have been one of my favorite things 
while I've been pregnant. Um, just because I feel like when my bump was smaller and even now you can wear them like high up and they're so comfortable, they're stretchy as long as they have an elastic waist. This one's really comfortable and it's double lined so you don't need to wear like Spanx under it or anything. I went up to a large in this to like just accommodate for it and it's, I mean, I still have more room so probably could have even done a medium if that helps you gauge if you have a bump or I would probably just go normal size if um, you're not pregnant. but really really comfortable and then actually has this little slit on the side which is just nice for some more room um but if you want to wear it below the bump just tuck it under it looks so cute and this little cropped um sort of knit bustier just have it with a strapless bra in yellow i love the yellow and beige together i think it's adorable and both fabrics are super comfortable everything that i've shown is really really comfortable and good materials because trust me i know when you're pregnant like there's just no room for discomfort because your skin is really sensitive everything has to be like baby butter soft um and all of this guaranteed is so i promise okay next item is this little western style button-up denim shirt which is so cute i think this is so cute for like country concerts this summer um, I really really like the fit of it. It's just this sort of nice perfect boxy fit um, without being too boxy. Obviously it fits perfectly with the belly. Um, I don't know. It's just so cute. It comes up on the sides and it has this little detail. This little sort of like southwestern detail on the sleeves which is really cute. I'm in a large in this. Um, I just have my little sweatshorts underneath but i'd probably do like a white biker short and kind of pull them up high because i kind of want this to be like almost like a dress vibe and then how cute are these boots i thought these were such a good find i love the colors um they are like a beige with white detailing i love the height really really nice toe they're just a really good find and they're i think under 100 so they come in another color as well but but that wraps up my bg haul i'm gonna put my code for you guys down below i think it either gets you 20 percent off or 25 percent um i need to just confirm that but i will have it clarified down there so you guys can shop but um they have such cute stuff and the price points are really good so anyways hope you guys enjoyed gave you some ideas and Let's get back into moving into this house. We've got lots to do. Okay, next day, and we are. We got our Wi Fi. We got our Wi Fi. Checkmate, baby. And now we need to unpack this friggin' place because we got a bunch of bins and stuff, and we're gonna go out to dinner with some friends tonight. And I think they maybe they might come by and like look at the place. And we just we're like, okay, hey, that's our goal is just to get the downstairs like kind of organized and like a little bit put together because look at that show. Yeah. Trying to get our Alexa going so we can play some music. Get our Alexa going, yeah. So oh, that's that's stack of zins. Ignore. Huh? My stack of zins. Our ice maker is still not working. It's very sad. I, we're getting an error on our refrigerator. I can't figure it out. It says E9. <laughs> they don't know what that so means. Sink my battleship. Oh man. Uh, I should probably drink the rest of this cold beer because I'm kind of tired. What ice with it? It's like there's no freaking ice. Can we get ice delivered? Hey, I might turn this. That's lazy. I might turn this off for a moment. Reset it. All right, so goal for this mountain is to, or today, is to get the living room livable. Um, the initial plan also was to have a sectional with just like yeah. one chair in the corner kind of. Yeah. And so that would have left more room over here. Yeah. But I mean, they still, they are bulky. Like yeah. they are, we know yeah. that. And um, we're trying to figure out if we're going to deal with it and come up with some solutions or if we're just like let's scrap it if all together they slide under the table though it would be fine yep also a lot of y'all had suggested pushing the couch all the way back to the window we don't like that we want to be able to see like the windows floor to ceiling we don't want like a couch like against the window and, we and it also do... blocks this walkway here because yeah. there's a door and we're gonna um 
we're getting different drapes eventually there and we don't want them like smushed. I just, I know that would be like practical, but I don't like the way that that looks. We, want, we don't want to extend it this way against the window where you take away that door. We want to utilize the space for how it's supposed to be utilized and not do any thing janky and i think some of y'all that i had recommended that didn't know that there was a door there so yeah i mean i see i love all the we got to work through all the suggestions so we appreciate all the tips yes um but i think at the end of the day if you guys were in here you kind of realize you could you can do like a certain amount of things but it's, it's pretty limited at yep. the end of the day so. and we could always do like our, a couch here we thought about doing a couch yes. here with two chairs um but the only thing is, as in, I know when we watch TV, especially Julia during pregnancy, yeah. she likes to like lay down and watch it versus lay down this way and watch it. So I think the other option would be a sectional and it would probably be really nice. But we're going to just use this stuff first, try to save ourselves some money, and then we'll see. If we get sick of it and we're like, we want a sectional, then we'll switch it eventually. I almost wish that like this would be the proper length that we would want for the sectional. Yeah. For that side. That's why I was saying just get a custom one. But if you do it like right here, you really cut off, like look how much you shorten your living room. But you, well yeah. Like look how close you are now to the fireplace. Agreed. So, you found your box of toys? You found your toys? Which one are you gonna choose? Your Lincoln Log? Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you like my voice. So these chairs are pretty bulky as well. But they're our favorite boucle chairs because they and are like um, swivels. And you want like comfy stuff in the living room. Yeah. Like you don't want it to be uncomfortable. So we had to pick our comfiest stuff. So we're gonna make it work. You'll see. Once everything's out of here, we get a rug in. I think it will be. It'll be I also fun. like going with bigger items. Yeah. It makes it feel like cozier because it kind of compacts it a little bit. I know. Um, but if we went with a big sectional, you would literally be what five feet from the fireplace. That would really shrink the living room. Just wouldn't know until you got it in here, but you know, this is the issue with furniture. Yeah. You gotta try it and then you uh, order it. I in. feel like sectionals are a design faux pas these days. They kind of are. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to find a happy medium between like things looking good and just like being comfortable. Yeah. Because, I don't know. You Agree. Just, you wanna be able to actually sit on stuff. Sometimes when you go like too designery, it's less like functional. Yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't like mm -hmm. feel good. And yeah. Who wants that? It's, then at that point, you're kind of like, are you just like making it look good for like pics on Instagram? Like, right. You want it to be comfortable. I want it to be so. comfortable. I'm liking this setup. Me too. That's the other thing about the sectional is when you have a sectional in a in a room that this that's this tight. Not only do you shrink it, but like you close off like the access. Like when you walk in the door, do you have to go all the way around that way to get to the sectional? Or all the way around this way. Right. You know what I mean? You just kind of close off the living room. Uh -huh. You could do it this way, but then once again, you would have to, the front of the couch would be right here. The back of the couch would go further back. You wouldn't want the couch in front of the fireplace. So that's really the only way the sectional could go. But we want to get the rug first before we start making decisions. Yeah. So we're looking at a few different rugs. 10 by 12 is kind of the perfect fit. Or 9 by 12. Yeah. But 10 by 14 could look really good in here. I think then just it'll like the dining chairs will have to Look, let's up. measure one more time. This 14 right here. And look where the dining chair is. I know, but look, go down. I'll show you here, leave it there. Okay, that's like. So it'd be right here behind the dining chair. Yeah, but that's like really close. Like that looks like a little bit funky. Really? Like then it's like, ooh, just on the brim. Like you want to give like a little space That's between with things. Chairs, well, yeah, but okay, they're generally gonna be right about there. Okay, whatever. Look, um, look, I'm not, I'm not set on one way or the other. I'm just wanting to talk through other options here. So, what would the other option be? Twelve. Which would be right there. I think that's better. You're just talking an extra foot. Alright, well. Because there's an extra foot on both sides. I know, I just think. And I think an extra foot over there would be nice. But then, uh, yeah, I just think that if you want to put the chairs, I don't know, it just could get funky, but whatever. To me, the bigger the rug, the bigger the living room feels. I know, but it just might feel a little more balanced with one less foot. I know, it's just my opinion, but I don't no, know. No, no, that's a good opinion. I think both, again, both could probably work, but we just wouldn't know until we got it in here. So do you want to order one of each? Well, no. So what do you want to do? I don't know. 
We'll have to figure it out. I think most people would say go. Not yeah. I don't know. It'll just depend. I mean, you might be right, because we're not going to, like, put another rug here. This will just be hardwood. Right, don't you think? Yeah. They had it like this. They had it dead on, like, across from each other. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Y yes. Like, they didn't even like, like, X yeah, but you said you didn't like the X. The first that. time that we I had it like that. Like DP circle table. That's all I well, said. that's what we're going to have to do in here, because that's all that's going to fit. <laughs> See, it works actually. If you put them in an X, it feels better. One of our friends got us a watercolor of our ultrasound. That's cute. It was Hunter and Cameron Primo. It's really cool. Hunter picked out some new balances for us. We're working with them on a campaign. How he is. I don't, I don't Father's Day. Father's Day campaign. These were like the most, of the ones I could choose from, these were the most me, I think. I think they're cute. They look nice. So. And these are the ones he picked for me, and I love them. They look so good. They match my hoodie that I'm wearing today very well. So cute. They look good for athleisure. Love. This good for our walks. hoodie is Brandy Melville, by the way. You can get it on PacSun. Yeah, really good for our walks. I'm not feeling too good today. I don't know what it is. I'm a little nauseous. Kankies. And a little cranky. The jingles with kinks. Yeah, you're a little cranky. I know. Well, I'm allowed to be. You're allowed to be. I don't know, I just let it be. I actually haven't been that cranky of a pregnant lady. Me and Booker go like this. I feel like I've been like, don't you think? Well, you can be honest. You've been good. I don't think I've been that like, uh, like bitchy or horm you've been, hormonal of a you've pregnant been a girl. Really chill pregnant individual. I think so too. Yep. First trip to Mallorca. Look at Juju. Remember taking those pictures? Yeah. I did too. Stressing out about them, I remember. They look so cute. Stupid. I've always, I've loved this picture, so I've always held on to it. It's nice. Just unloading our books for now, because I don't know where else to put them, but I know we're going to want to use them for. Something, so I'm just gonna stack them up right here. All right, not bad. That'll do. Throw them up there. Rearrange later. So we've been doing a little bit today. Mama Juge had a little bit of a meltdown, hormonal meltdown, and I had to take a nap. So <laughs> Hunter she gave, finished. She gave up. me a lap dance earlier, and I was throwing dollar bills. Oh at my her. god! Okay. You wish okay. with this belly. Um, no, I don't know where. Where the hell did these come from? I don't know. I feel like we just put. Those like on the on. counter, like empty our pockets. Um, um, but we have bringing some friends over because we're gonna walk down to dinner and we just got dressed. We kind of tidied up as much as we could, so we thought we would show you guys the first floor. We just need to unpack some of these bins. I gotta bring those upstairs, they're all mine. Um, we have this little table from Restoration that we've had since our Texas house, so that's, that's there. Our laundry room. You saw us moving it in the last vlog. Yeah, we've used that at every house, it's been a good one, and it matches the fireplace perfectly. So it's a good spot for now. 
And then we've got our little living room, which we've already been over. Um, got to get a rug. Couch is Jenny Kane. Table restoration. Chairs, Mitchell Gold, Bob Williams, pillows, Etsy. Okay, here's our chairs that we all agree are maybe too bulky, but I don't know. Well, well yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bulky. Decide on the table. Yeah. I think we start with the table. And then build then the get around. chairs. Like, if they work, they work. If they don't, like build the chairs around. The table. Agree, agree. I mean, there's still enough room for bar stools. If you're hosting a gathering, you would like, need. Yeah. You, there's still room. Definitely. You know? We have this right here. <laughs> this is Booker's crate right now, but it's literally the only thing we have to sit on when we eat because we don't have any tables. I mean, we can eat there, but then you're eating like on your lap. So we've been sitting on that, and then we've got. The kitchen mostly put away, which is nice. And we just have some remaining clutter. We've got all of our vessels. This would look really nice on the tab table. Yeah. The table when it's here. You know. Let me choose one with some flowers. I in. just do love though, like all of the caramel tones of these chairs. And I, I feel know. like they really elevate it. Like Agreed. they make it look really good. So people oh, ask them last vlog when we got them. And we They're custom. We customized them out of a company in California. Yeah. So bummer, but Oh, they're so nice. Just like, look at that color scheme. Actually, we saw a similar shape at the one hotel in LA. And they tracked down the people that made them. People who made them and they designed like what wood we wanted, what materials. materials all that kind of stuff. Basically, like this soft, broken in leather with like leather, a dark wood. It really does make a difference with like these type of materials. I know. You need the contrast. I agree. So. so I, think, I think we can make it work. They're, they are bulky. Yes. Yes. We, we agree on that. We'll play around with it. We'll play around with it. I do think they're like, see the stone, Not stuck on see it the though. stone base, the big one that we yes. got at Big Daddy's? Yes, this is from Big Daddy's. I think that's going to stay there with a plant in it. Yeah, we're going to put a tree. But I was going to say, that material, like stone, like... I know, I'm kind of really really thinking... Nice agree, I'm kind of thinking concrete table too. I was, I was looking at some today. I was thinking marble at first. I could picture marble in that there. That could work too. But I don't know how it'll like a light marble color will look with like all this white and other... I know. It might be color. too much. Yeah. Um, I definitely want this to feel like more modern. I feel like in the past we've in other houses done like more traditional style or like farmy style, but I really want to go like more contemporary because it's like, why not? This is a a new build townhouse. All the light fixtures are more modern and I just feel like, why not? And that side table we have, it was in your office. It's up in the nursery now. Yes. That color palette, it's like this with the white and the black. It's like I this know, color. it's this color palette. It'd be nice if we found a coffee table in that color palette. Tone, that's I know. Marble. Well, that's it, I wanna do that dark one. Yeah. That dark marble coffee table. I've had my eye on it for a while. It's um, so cute. I want it to feel like modern Australian beachy vibe without being too beachy. We don't want it to like look coastal. No, just like natural. Just natural. Organic yeah, yeah, yeah. feeling things. But um, in like contemporary modern shapes. These drapes were part of the... <laughs> modern um, <or> organic. <laughs> these drapes were part of the um, model home. Yeah. And we asked them to leave them as part of our offer, and our agreement was to leave all the drapes so we can have some privacy for now. But we are gonna get new custom drapes done, yeah, just like we did the last house. And so obviously they don't really match. They're like almost so white that they're blue. They're like too cool. Like gray, yeah, and they're yeah. not the best quality. Um, but but see, if we get rid of these chairs, we can go more of like this color. I know. You know, so no, we can totally. play with it. We just gotta find some things. So we're still continuing to get inspired, but that is sort of the progress update of the house. Super satisfied though with like the furniture we already had. For sure, and I feel like for, you know, just bringing some stuff over and making it work, we're really happy with it. Anyways, okay, so our friends are coming over in a second and we're gonna walk down to dinner, but I wanted to show you guys my little outfit for tonight. I'm wearing the skirt from my VG haul earlier. So cute, but I just did it with sneakers because we're gonna walk. Um, okay, hi. <laughs> and I just tucked in a little t-shirt, sweater. Oh, I get it. Hi! Happy Sunday. It's the next day. It's actually, this video is probably gonna go up today, so. Yes, it will. Happy Sunday, for happy real. Happy Sunday. 
woke up this morning. I went to the gym. You Julia, did. you woke up with me, but okay, you stayed good. in bed and watched some YouTube videos and just yes. chilled, which is necessary for so Julia. So lovely. And I got back, and Julia has another pregnancy craving. She really wants a pancake. Pancake. And not only a pancake, but Nashville's finest pancake from Suprico. Suprico, which is only like a mile away now. From our house, yeah, so, which is so great. Um, well, well, it's maybe not great. It might be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we need to continue unpacking because our place is a little bit of a wreck. We're gonna unpack the upstairs today and organize the bathroom, the closet. It's gonna be a thing. <laughs> wow, there she is. So good, <laughs> I'm so excited. Damn. Oh my god. Wow. Did it fix your craving? Oh yes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's too good. All right, ladies and gents. I'm starting to get motivated. Bump date. Here she is. He. Why do I keep saying she? It's like I named the bump she, but it's a he inside, so that's confusing. But anyways, Hunter and I were just talking at breakfast, and we were like, we think maybe, I have maybe a feeling that the baby could come early. I don't know by how far, but I don't think he's going to be late. I don't know why. But I'm just, maybe that's my fear speaking, because I'm just like knowing my luck that the baby would come early, and... You know, I'd be unorganized and not have it together because we just moved and haven't had time. The boys are hanging. Hunter is just sad now because he's like, now I want to take a nap. <laughs> I was worried about, I was already tired and then you stuffed your stomach with pancakes. I feel energized. Ow. I don't know. I think you're probably just tired from like the gym and stuff and like, you just sleep. If anything I've learned from. No, I hate naps. Hunter hates naps. I can't nap, it just makes me more tired. If anything I've learned from pregnancy is just like how to listen to my body really well. And if you need a nap, I just nap and you recharge, you get back up and you just listen. Okay, it's upstairs day and our bedroom is a wreck, you guys. Look at all this. Like, we don't have any surfaces in here because we put our dresser in the nursery, which, let me show you the nursery. So, here's our bedroom. But, okay, so there is our bedroom. We've got laundry room in between, which um, our laundry is coming not for another week because they came to deliver it and Mama Juge forgot to get a stacking unit. So, fun fact, if you get a washer and dryer that has to be stackable. Sorry, I'm out of breath. You have to have a stacking unit, but I've never had a stacking washer and dryer, so I didn't know that. And they were like, we basically could just like throw the washer and dryer in there and just leave them until the stacking unit comes. Well, I was like, why don't you do that? I mean, I'd rather you just come back and do everything at once. So now you have to wait a week, but anyways, so. Our bedroom there, laundry room here, and this is the nursery, or what will be the nursery at least. Um, and it is just full of stuff right now, but we pulled all the baby stuff up here. Um, everything from our shower that we got gifted to us, um, all of the baby boy's clothes and things, which we really need to organize. It is, you know, we're gonna get there. We're just to go one step at a time where I will stress out. It's like one room at a time. We knew that he was gonna need a dresser in this room for like all of his clothes and stuff. And so we took the dresser from our old bedroom and we're putting it in here, which this dresser is from Restoration Hardware. So it's really cute and we we'll love the wood color for his nursery. I think it's perfect. Um, and that dresser actually won't fit in our bedroom because the wall is too small so it has to we have to get like a tall dresser which i've never had before we've always had like normal wide dressers but um we have to order that or find one that we like so that's why all of our clothes are like in trash bags right now which is just dandy so whew, sorry can't breathe okay so we've got all our stuff 
Anyways, I brought this chair from the last house. This is from CB2. We have two of them. But I know a lot of you guys said to get a rocker, and I probably will. But I just brought this in here for now because I want to sort of like have the nursery somewhat decorated and like feeling like a room. And I figured I just pulled this chair now somewhere to sit, somewhere for like my parents are coming to visit when the baby's born. And same with Hunter's parents, like someone could just sit in this chair. I can breastfeed in this chair, whatever. And then if we really need like a rocker, we'll get a rocker. But I just... I have so much furniture to order. It's just like, I can't do it right now. Um, this was on the registry. It's a breastfeeding pillow. And I got that. And I've already <laughs> taken a couple naps on this pillow, actually, which is really funny. Like, I've been using some of the stuff already. Um, also brought in this little side table that we have. This is from, where is this from? Is this from Mitchell Gold Bob Williams? I think so. It was in my office in our old house, um, but I think it'll look really cute in here. We just got the rug in for the nursery. Um, still trying to decide on a bassinet and or crib. So that'll stay tuned. We'll do like a whole nursery video when we set it up. Could you not? Um... Anyways, and then I ordered some like cute little bedding and pillows. We got light fixtures for in here and I want to do one wall wallpapered. So I have like plans for this place, but it's just sort of like I need to get our house unpacked first before we can like decorate this nursery. But just so you know, this is where it's going to be. Also, the bathroom, which is nice. It is the only other bathroom besides our bathroom that has a bathtub. So we thought that'd be perfect for baby because we can give him a little bubble bath, and yeah. So, this is the bathroom in the nursery, and then here's the room, which is just clustered right now. It's all my workout clothes. It's a mess. So, now going back into our bedroom. Back to this disaster, okay? So, this is literally my Turks and Caicos suitcase, which I have not even touched yet, which is tragic. That's how back-to-back -back we've been. All of my shoes, clothes, and closet, which actually, I've been pretty impressed with the closet. It actually is bigger than the one at our last place. So, Hunter and I shared that really skinny closet, and it was... Like, we were like, oh, for sure, these closets are smaller. But I brought all of my stuff into this closet, and I still have room. So I think it's actually bigger, which is really nice. Um, so I kind of just threw everything in here, but I'm going to try to organize all of my shoes in here today. Um, I've just been, like, throwing random crap in those things. Um, and then there's not really that much else we can do with like our dresser clothes because we don't have a dresser yet. So we got to find one and thinking, I know like RH has a lot of those like tall dressers. That's the wall, by the way, that the dresser we're going to see how small it is. I mean, we measured and the other one doesn't fit. So we got to get a tall dresser and that will we put it, our socks, underwear, bras in, um, workout clothes, pajamas, that pretty much it yeah just like comfy stuff like that um and then everything else is like hung up in the closet so that's the deal hi you are cute you are so cute um so yeah let's get to it that's sort of the lay of the land of the upstairs and i've got to get to try to organize in this stuff excuse you i'm gonna try to make the bed that always makes me feel better and like a little bit more of a fresh start Feels much better. These pillows are actually from our Texas house, if you guys remember them. Um, I'll try to find the link for them down below, but they're cute and patterned. Um, and I just have this like UGG blanket on here right now because we have our new Brooke Linen. Um, Brooke Linen. Why did I say that? Oh my god. Brooke Linen duvet cover. I have the sheets and all the pillowcases on already, but until our washer dryer comes, I want to wash all of that bedding before I put it on. And Booker's been getting up here a ton this week because he's been just a little bit nervous about the move. Like, 
not nervous but you know how animals are they like have to transition to new places and i knew he would be really like kind of clingy and on our bed a lot so i mean not that he's not anyways we already let him on our bed but um so i just have this like blanket down right now on top of the duvet cover because or the duvet because i didn't want it to get all messy so vintage runner that I have down in the bathroom just because we really needed something down here because it was like I don't want to be slipping while I'm pregnant and it gets really slippery on the tile and like just you need something in the bathroom so I'm ordering this runner is too big but it's just here temporarily I got this at a local store in Nashville um, it's really pretty but it doesn't fit it's too big so um, it's too long actually we are getting another one um, that'll be a little bit shorter just by four or five inches, a little skinnier, and that'll fit perfect. But for now, this works for the bathroom. There's something in there, and there's no hooks in here. Like, there's no um, hooks for towels or anything, so we're just like draping our stuff over like the bathtub right now. Um, until we can get some little hooks to hang our towels, which we don't know where to put those either. We still have all those workout clothes down in the nightstands. I know. Well, we have to get nightstands and dressers. You know? Can we just put those nightstands back up here? I think for now, it would be nice. And we can always get new ones. But, probably. What are you up to? You gonna go to Sunset 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 Uncle Rob Cousinale. Uncle Robin Cousinale. You would love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, I should probably put those boots. Well, I'll leave them down here for now, but that's smart. Alright, Julia's got her shoes going. Looking good. Here's my setup over here. I gotta go through my hats. I got a whole row of hats I gotta go through. And then these are all my pants. I'll probably hang them. I've never hung my pants because I've never had room for them at the cabin. So I'll probably hang them and then put them here once we get the TV hung up. If we put a TV in here. Are we gonna put a TV in here? Um, I don't know. It's been kinda. I it's feel been, like we've been sleeping better without a TV. I know, I agree. Hunter, we like come up and we crash. Because uh -huh. there's no... Distraction. No. I agree, but uh, being like right here with like the cars going by, I can see us having like the like no, movie nights or something or. And probably when the baby comes, we're gonna want it to be like, I don't know. Maybe not though. Maybe we just sleep better without it. Maybe we should be a little bit more disciplined with ourselves. Yeah. I mean, it, once we get like a dresser or something there, it might look good having it above like a piece of art. Because this is the frame TV, but I'll plan on hanging my pants up probably right here. Or, I don't know, I'll rearrange, but got the shoes going, boom, and boom. And I donated, like, 20 pairs of shoes, something like that. For you. So I got a lot less, but I still have a lot. I need to go through these again. Hopefully I wear all these. I got all my workout shoes, boom, my boots, my, like, just tennis shoes, my slides, and my cat will boots. And those are all my like kind of designer shoes, like Fear of God. Those are Alexander McQueen. Those are Givenchy, Off Whites, Montclairs, and then my New Balance Ame collabs. Anyway, what are y'all doing over here? <laughs> We're making out. You're making out without me. Aww. So sweet. He's. I feel like he's done really good here. He's, he's really been good. calm here. I don't know. What is it? Maybe it's those like walks that he gets in the morning. Maybe. Or that we're close and we've been here every day all day. I know. Because we're unpacking. Exactly. More like homebody. 
Let's leave it home more. Yeah. I think you're gonna do pretty good when the baby's here. Or maybe he's adjusting to this. That. I know. He's so cute. He is. We gotta run out and get some more organizing stuff. Um. So yeah, we'll continue on. We still have another two floors to show you guys. It's coming together though. Yeah, and we have to get some furniture. We just get a little more organized, but. I'm gonna finish putting up my shoes. I think we just wanna like get the place cleaned and yeah. like tidy and yeah. put away and unpacked and all the trash bags thrown away and suitcases put away. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be able to start the furniture process. Mm -hmm. You did order some rugs that we're gonna try, try out. Yes. Um, we have our eyes on a couple furniture pieces that we are interested in but wanna make sure that they work. We're trying to like do this house a little bit more affordable mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just like we did a, um, a lot of our rugs from Rugs USA, so I hope that they turn out, but they're all like under $500, which is Key. awesome. So we have our really nice vintage rugs, and we brought one of them over, but for this house, like I've said, I want to do a little more contemporary and modern, mm -hmm. so we chose different routes, so we'll you, see. You can do like a nice like mix, but we already have a couple antique pieces down yeah. in the main floor, and you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. So, it'll come together. We're yeah, excited. Well, I know. But... Anywho, Anywho we thanks for enjoy. watching, and we'll continue, keep the moving process going. Okay. I don't know if the next video is moving vlogs or not, but we'll still be moving. We'll still be moving. But without the end of the 2022 season, okay. <laughs> and with that, that, <laughs> uh, that, the 2022 season has come to a close. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a great Sunday evening, and adios. Love you.